Hey guys, get ready with me. Alright, so I'm going to my auntie's like birthday like party, but I think it's more of like a gathering. But basically, like I knew this was happening, but I didn't know it was this weekend. And I thought like, oh, I'm just gonna like, you know, like chill out. And I put on like these clothes because they're just like, I don't know, to like just sit on my sofa and like watch TV. And it's half two, and I walked downstairs and like to eat lunch, like my lunch is actually ready. And then I was just like, oh, I don't know, I, I don't even know what I said. My mum was like, oh, we're leaving in a minute. And I was like, what? And she was like, yeah, to go to like your auntie, like birthday. And I was like, are you joking? I was like, what time are we leaving? She said, three o'clock. It's half two and it's three, we're leaving at three o'clock. And I was like, I just, I haven't done any makeup. I haven't like, I don't know what I'm going to wear. I didn't even know. And she was acting like I knew about this and I had absolutely no clue. So now I've got half an hour to like get ready, apparently. And I don't know what to wear yet because like, I don't want to be like too overdressed, but then I don't want to be like, like, I don't want my outfit to be bad. And I wasn't planning on doing any makeup for today because I thought I was literally just staying in, but apparently not. So now I'm doing makeup. This is the outfit I'm currently wearing, but um, I just feel like that's just not like suitable for like a birthday gathering. Like that's just not suitable. And like my hair is so dirty and it's like some parts are curly, some, oh. Some parts are curly, some parts are straight, like, oh my god. I kind of want to wear a skirt, but then I feel like that's a bit too much. So, someone, someone help me out. Okay, brows are done, and now I'm going to go with my outfit. Like, I'm actually, like, really running out of this, and I need to get a new one. Look, like, literally, there's no product coming out. Oh, wait, I got some. I think it's, like, all stuck, like, at the bottom, so I need to, like, I don't know. I'm just waffling. I'm too tired for this. I literally, like, I didn't think that we was actually doing anything today. I just thought I was just going to, like, sleep. I don't really know. <sighs> I like being organised. Like, I, I like having plans. But, like, now this has just been sprung upon me and I've got, like, half an hour to get ready. Like, that's just not enough. That's not enough. Okay, right, um, I don't actually know what I filmed, but I went in with my foundation, concealer, and then now I'm going in with my cream bronzer. I've just added way too much of that. That looks ridiculous. Guys, I'm sorry. I didn't film any of that. I think I stopped filming it. Cream contour. Anyways, I did my cream blush. Or my pa my powder and my powder products. And I already did mascara from earlier, so. Um, yeah, I actually kind of forgot that I was filming to get ready with me. I'm not even going to lie. I just kind of zoned out, but. Now it's time for the lip combo. Um, I don't actually know what I'm going to do when it comes out because I'm literally about to eat, but it's whatever. <gasps> no, that setting spray is like put dot. Look what that's just done. You can see that. Oh, to be honest, I don't really care. I'm just going to leave it. Uh, I'm just going to slip line up. Okay, anyways, that's a lip combo done. And now I need to pick out an outfit. Also, I think I might put my hair up and half above down because it's not looking its best. Okay, so I kind of want to wear this, like skirt and i don't know if that's like too much okay what are the ops on this i don't really know i don't really know um i think it's cute but like i'm going to like a family party get what i'm saying but i don't really know um stay tuned for the next video because i'll probably do like a video of me and you'll probably see the outfit. Anyways, thanks for watching. Bye. I've literally been running around for like a headless chicken for about the past half an hour. Like, you know the line you're playing just to impress in the last two minutes where you're like, what on earth am I going to wear? That has literally been... So it's my aunt's birthday. Happy birthday. My favourite aunt ever and I have no shame in saying that. <laughs> but anyway, I'm probably going to get told off for saying that. But anyway, so we're going out for lunch for my aunt's birthday. And I love my aunt. She's literally like, I just love her because in a family that like just irritates the both of us, I don't know how I'd survive without her because then who would I gossip to? Like she's literally my gossip bestie. I am a mini her. She, I, the, she is me and I am her. I love her. It's her birthday and we're going out for a lunch and I have no clue what to I'm wearing this sugar oh my gosh sugar honey iced tea anyway i'm wearing these leather trousers and then this top but it just does not go i have done a video of me like having a full-on predicament on what to wear but we was meant to leave half an hour ago but i didn't wake up until like 
10 30 because i went to bed at like two o'clock i don't know why i do this to myself i like actually self-sabotage myself sabotage sabotage i don't really know oh i'm listening to promiscuous girl and it's you that I want. But anyway, I dyed and curled my hair last night because I sh I washed my hair and my hair feels really nice. But only thing is, I don't think it's been a very good hair day. I think my products weren't really products in yesterday, but they've dropped out a lot. But I think it's fine because I love when my hair is like wavy curls anyway place we're going to for food is really nice and it looks really really pretty but my mum my aunt my aunt's two kids so my cousin Nora and my cousin Anissa and then obviously my aunt because believe it or not it's her birthday we're all going out and it's gonna be very very nice I just can't think straight right now like i don't know what to say i don't know how to film because this is the thing like i love styling outfits like i have you know like when you can make folders in your photos app i have about 50 of those for styling outfits but i don't know why like my outfit styling skills aren't working today i had such a good sleep though like i'm not even joking i had such a good sleep i got this spray from Superdrug, and it's like you put it on your pillow and the last two nights i've used it i have knocked out literally knocked out if you can hear hair dryers my mom but um thingy i've just knocked out every time i've used it and it's amazing i love it i don't know what it looks like if i remember to show you at the end of the video i'll show you I literally only played one song and it's already getting an ad i need my spotify premium back also i found these earrings because i was going through all of my jewelry box last night i absolutely love these earrings my mom my nan and i all got matching and i love them i never want to take them out so does anyone know what excuse i can use to wear them at school please because we're not allowed jewellery, let alone hoops, but I love them and I really want to keep them in. So if anyone knows what excuse I can use, help a girl out, please. So with no shame, I am admitting that I faked hair my face last night. It is literally officially the middle of September. Like, I just cannot wait. I cannot wait to be fake tanning every Sunday. I can't wait to have my winter out of it. I can't wait to be layered and bundled up. But I, I like it. I think it's giving me like a nice little bronze in my face. I like this primer, it smells really nice, it's really pretty. I'm finally getting started onto my makeup. Oh my gosh, I'm already three minutes into this video. What have I been waffling about? I'm getting to move speedy, 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 so this video doesn't end up being like 10 minutes. Iconic London. So I cleaned all my brushes last night. It looks like a marshmallow. Me, look at what you done to me. You put a gun to me, think you brought the sun to me. Shine like blood diamond. I have just done some clothes concealer. Nars put concealer for spots and spots scarf. Truth ain't pretty, but coming from the pretty mouth, the truth is fitting. Contour. I'm actually excited to eat the food at this place. I've just been like watching their Instagram over and over and over and over and over and over again. And it looks so good. And literally everything there is halal. And I just think it looks amazing. The, things, the stuff there looks amazing. Nah, what's my name? Bronzer. It's getting hot, crack a window, air it up. I could get you through a mighty long day. Knows how to work my body. Knows how to make me want it. But boy, you say upon it. Balance, baby, you're a challenge. Let's explore your talents. Hey, boy, I really want to see you. Girl, that's how a girl like me. Because you're just my type. Oh, na, 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 na. Sorry, I'm a 2020 TikTok girl at heart. Oh! I've actually gotten ready really late. I've been taking really long. I took like 20 minutes. What on earth is going on, Layla? 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 Okay, my makeup is all done. And may I just say this is actually an awful makeup day, but it's fine. If, I, if my outfit does not slay, my hair does not slay, then it's an issue. out i am so scared i have not seen myself without eyelashes on properly right properly for about like nine months and then if you count how many times i've had lashes on it's been since year nine so that's about nearly four or five years so i'm finally deciding i'm gonna start my lash growth journey but i'm obviously terrified of what i'm gonna look like so there might be a few tears after this but it'll be okay but to remove it i'm gonna be using the lash emporium accenture remover and it's come with these oh my god i feel ill like i feel like because i've literally sworn by lashes and hated myself without them and literally felt so disgusting without them i've literally worn them for so long and that's from year nine so 
<laughs> I feel ill. I did say if I hate them that much, I'm going to stick a few strip lashes on and then immediately book them with my lash tech. But I'm also going to start using UK Lash very soon, which will hopefully grow my lashes, but we'll have to see what happens. I'm so scared. Anyway, let's get to removing them. I am going to be curling my lashes and adding some mascara on at the end, so we're going to see how long my lashes actually are. But... What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> okay, let's remove this. This is terrifying. Right, it says I need to apply this to the lash line. And then keep my eye. Oh my god, I'm so scared. Firmly closed. Oh my god. I'm literally so scared. Okay, let's just leave on for one minute. I'm just gonna add an oil flip a little bit more. And then guys, oh my god. I'll be back in a minute. I'm, I'm just updating you all because I literally, feel, I literally feel sick off this. All right, it's been a minute and I need to start brushing them out. What if they don't come out? Guys, he's... Ah, it's sticking me out. Guys. I'm so stressed. There's no going back now, do you know what I mean? Oh, my God. Guys. If you guys... I know I keep mentioning this, but if you guys have followed me for a while, you know I've religiously wore like either eyelash, eyelash extensions or individual lashes and this is a big step for me all right that's worked pretty well i'm gonna do another layer and then i'm gonna rinse my eye for now all right let's wait <laughs> guys please we're doing another layer i look so f weird i look horrible let me get the other eye off because there's no going back now because kind of like <laughs> on the last lash <laughs> Right, I'm gonna put some mascara on. I'm gonna curl my lashes, put some mascara on, and then I'm gonna see what I look like because at the minute I really hate how I look right now. I look like literally bald. Have you seen the lashes on my desk? I can't be doing this. Guys, the last time I curled my eyelashes was the first time I put eyelash extensions on because these they actually ripped my eyelashes out. That is the story of what got me into eyelashes. Like, I was curling my lashes one day for school, and then it literally cut all my lashes off, and then I stuck strip lashes on, and I wore them ever since. So this is scary. Guys, I really feel that did not save, because my phone literally died, but um, I put some mascara on. It is My lashes are so bad. Like, literally, look how short they are. I cut, Why is it not focusing? I curled them. And they are so short. Well, I'm sick of it not focusing, but they're so short. I don't know if I need like a better mascara, but I've got this YSL and I thought it was really, really good. I actually got gifted it by YSL, so thank you so much for coming in clutch for when I literally had this intrusive thought. But, um... But if anyone knows any good lash tips or like anything to just make... My, I'm going to try look UK lash, but for the minute, I don't really have UK lash, so I'm going to do this ordinary one, but most people be saying it's really, really good. So I'm going to put that on. But if anyone knows any good like mascara brands or like anything that can help me please do because i feel disgusting but yeah thanks for watching and i'm gonna go cry myself to sleep bye guys get rid of me again but i'm in a rush get rid of me again get rid of me but i'm in a rush again because my fat bum can't get out of bed on time we're leaving in 10 minutes. And just obviously today is the day that my hair is not cooperating and it's going all crazy and I'm going to have to straighten it now, isn't it? And I've literally got crusty mascara on my lashes from last night because, again, my lazy bum couldn't be bothered to take it off. I don't know why everyone's talking about this moisturiser being vegan now. Like, what's wrong with that? Like, I don't understand. Uh, this this moisturiser is quite old as well. I know it doesn't look like it because there's so much left in it, but it just lasts freaking ages. This is like a month old, I think. My mum's asked me to stop making my birthday list and... I've literally got two things so far. It's a Sisters and Seekers hoodie and some Uggs. That's literally it. I'm quickly using this brow gel just to brush up my brows because they are literally not straight. This concealer, I got it for my birthday or Christmas last year. It's still going. It's still freaking going. It's the Dior backstage one. So many people ask me what concealer I use. It's this and it's literally in the shade OW. This setting spray lasts a long time as well. This is like my third time rebuying it. But I just love it. Because it lasts ages and it smells lush and it works amazing. I freaking love this song. This bronzer is life. 
Time zone, but you wanna be. This song is distracting me from the fact I literally have to leave in three minutes. I'm using my Red Beauty blush today because I just love this blush so much. Powder because this brings together my makeup because it's honestly not eating right now, but just you wait. Just you freaking wait. I haven't even said where we're going today. Like, look at that. Just, just see the difference. Today we are going to my auntie's house um, for afternoon tea because it's my oldest cousin's Hindu because she's getting married on New Year's Eve. So we're going over for like a family Hindu. So it's going to be like games and afternoon tea and you know all that jazz highlighter today i'm not going to use my charlotte tilbury lip liner based on the fact that i actually have been loving this new lip liner it's from myx recently and it's in the shade natural now i'm going to use my glossier lip gloss because i love this lip gloss okay now i'm going to quickly set this with my set spray this shit needs to last. Now I'm gonna go do some mascara and yeah, I'm ready. I was supposed to go. Love you guys. Okay, actually, for all bye. Hey guys, get ready with me for lunch. I just had two of my hair gummies from Superdrug. These have been making my hair feel so nice, I swear. I definitely recommend getting them. Oy. I'm gonna tell you about my day yesterday. So today, uh, yesterday I went Westfield after after dance because I was really bored and I didn't even get a lot but like it was just a nice like day out so we got there and then this was my first time going like by myself without my mum to Westfield because she thinks it's a bit like dodge like she because because of the things that have like happened there but we got sushi first because yum we got yo sushi because we was really craving it if you go there oh my god please get the the crab like the crab sushi it's got the nicest sauce on it i can't even and also the duck one is also really good and i'm talking about the duck maki but if you guys are still up to this point in the video comment a heart to let me know if you have been watching don't know if it means anything to you, but I'll definitely be following you, some of you guys back. Because I'm not going to be cocky and say, I'm going to follow you back because that's such a reward. Like, no it isn't. <laughs> but yeah, all of you guys want a haul, but there's not really a big haul. I just got this tracksuit from Zara. I'm actually wearing the bottoms, and you can wear them like that or that. And they're like, flared. Yeah. Then, obviously, I got the matching jumper to it. But tell me why that came to... 41 pounds for a tracksuit like what like how is it so expensive and zara isn't even designer or anything so why is it so expensive just for a tracksuit from zara cost of living crisis okay we're gonna put on some more lip <gasps> i'm going in with my opinion lip scrub i always forget this but it's my favorite thing in the world it tastes so nice okay i'm first gonna ow oh my god why that hurts so much anyways i'm gonna go with my got to be brow gel okay i'm just gonna for primer i'm gonna put on setting spray and I'm gonna go in with my poreless primer from P. Louise. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. Halo Glow. I just wanna do like quite a natural kind of look today. I want it to be quite glowy. Guys, add this on your wish list. It's a powder puff and a beauty blender in one and I love the feel of it, it's so cool. Was what it was, good, good, good kisses to me. I'm putting a little bit of concealer on because this makes my skin go really yellow. Okay, I'm gonna use the P. Louise Black Mascara. Guys, I'm really hungry, so I'm eating pop chips. Okay, I'm gonna use my P. Louise Setting Powder. Okay, now I'm gonna use the other side of my two-in-one. I just use my favourite lip combo, the P. Louise like, palette thing, and then the uh, Daydream Lip Liner. Okay, I'm gonna use two setting sprays, Milani and Studio London. Bye, guys. Love you. Mwah. Friday night in New York City, the girls are going out. And y'all wanted to be just like me today and wore the same top and she's also 
doing the same messy bun as me. So we're really gonna look like twins today. We're gonna scare the shit out of Izzy. He's gonna be seeing double. So funny, every time we go somewhere, we always get asked if we're twins, and we're like, no, we're actually three years apart. Someone the other day asked if we were related, and I was like, I think they were just trying to be polite, I though, and like, not assume. I'm like, who's older, who's younger? No one ever answers it, because they think they're gonna hurt our feelings. Yeah. So the plan is, we're meeting a friend for drinks for a little pregame. I like how you say friend as if I didn't just give Izzy away. Yeah. <laughs> Izzy. Bring your dog, Izzy. She Ew, just got a Maltese, which is the type of dog we had when we were growing up. It brings back, like, flashbacks. She did not like me. Yeah, she didn't. I think you're kind of mean to her. I don't do well when people don't like me. You don't like me, I don't like you. R.I.P. Sugar. Freckle stamp time. Okay, but, like, look how easy it makes putting freckles on. The best thing about living with your sister is you all are always on the same page literally like today my sister was like okay i'm actually going backstage with who is it ma p. ma p whatever i've never heard of them she was like you need to go out tonight too so tomorrow we can do like hungover activities and then sunday just hang out plan our business some big business plans in the works na, 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 na. <laughs> one sip of coffee me. setting spray because whenever we go out with izzy we just know it's gonna be a long night he's catching strays <laughs> oh we love you izzy no at my old age of 23 i just like can't hang <laughs> 23 oh my god i just like can't go out oh as long as i god. used to Take a break i'm 26 i'm pushing 30 wait you oh. are shut up you know what's crazy our 24th and 27th birthday is kind of coming up mm -hmm. What are we gonna do? I think we need to plan a trip. Okay. Tomorrow. We also should have like a party here with all of our friends. What if we, what if me and you took a health and wellness trip and then, then for everything else we did like a party with all our friends here? Yeah. Like a retreat. Yeah. A health and wellness yeah. retreat. You Before our party. So we're just like skinny, fit, and sexy. Glad we worked that out. Do you use this for your eyeshadow? Yeah. I think. You're such a ding dong. I'm wondering why I had eyeshadow on my nose. What's actually crazy, this is my first time ever using the red lips. So let's see how I like it. It looks so good. It literally looks like the little mermaid right now. <laughs> see, she doesn't know how to take a fucking compliment. How do I look like the little mermaid? You're so red and blue. Red and blue. Okay. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I take it back. I did not know how to take that compliment because I didn't know what it meant. You that I literally called you a Disney princess. So let's take the hair out. Oh. Oh. See, Little Mermaid. Here is the final look. Okay, bye. I love y'all. <laughs> you were waiting on that. <laughs> Things that I don't think are gonna be trendy in 2025. Okay, starting off with like putting bows on literally everything. Don't get me wrong, I literally love putting bows in my hair. But I feel like once you start adding it to everything, it kind of gets tacky. I honestly think that bows have had their time, but I think it's time for them to go. I honestly think that putting bows in your hair is cute, but when you start adding it to random t-shirts and everything, it just gets a little cringy. Also, don't think that the camo hoodie trend is gonna last. Like that one hoodie from Hollister, I'm pretty sure. I think right now the camo pattern's cute, but I definitely don't think that it's gonna last. I just realized I have to leave in four minutes, so we gotta speed this up. Okay, I also don't think that the cheetah print is gonna last. Obviously, it's cute now, but like those cheetah print jeans, I think that all these patterns are gonna become like chuggy next year. I think that everything from Addicted is gonna become like out of style soon because I feel like they fall Follow all the micro trends. Don't get me wrong, I literally love Addicted. I just feel like their entire store follows all the micro trends, and I just don't think that the store is gonna be trending forever. I also don't think that the jersey style shirts are gonna be trending forever. Like, you know the ones from Brandy that say like all the numbers? Like, I think that those shirts are literally adorable, but why are we putting the random number 14 on every single shirt? I just don't see them being trendy forever. Okay, the next one is not targeted to Demetra like in any way. But I honestly don't think that the Demetra style is gonna be trending forever. Like, I absolutely love her. Her style like the low-rise jeans tight shirt and like the sambas or like the campuses like, i absolutely love her style and her style like i literally copy her style and i literally wear outfits exactly like that but i just don't envision the style lasting a very long okay the last trend i can think of is like the jorts trend Jorts are really cute if they're styled correctly I honestly don't see jorts being a trend next year okay that's all i can think of right now just a disclaimer if you do any of these trends doesn't mean that i don't think it's cute because i literally do have the trends that i just mentioned all i'm saying is that i don't think they're going to be as trendy next year okay that's all let me know if i should do a part two here's another piece of advice for you if you were going to talk shit on someone not keep hanging out with them i talked about this a little before which i found out that one of my friends was talking a bunch of shit about me kind of like well who looks stupid here it's like you talk about me and then you come hang out with me now you look fucking dumb i do not understand that like if you don't like someone the way that you claim you don't i even entertain them it makes no sense every person in my real life that i talk to about this keeps telling me more and more about what this person said god damn you would think that they hated my god i'm not even gonna say anything to this chick i'm gonna let the 
the next person deal with it. I'm not the first, and honey, I'm not the last. A little advice for anyone watching this who likes to talk shit. It's like, who doesn't talk shit? I feel like that's very normal. Do not talk shit to someone's close friend. Talk to your mom. Talk to your fucking dog. Don't tell that person's close ass friends, bro. So use our thinking caps here. Come on. I'm a shit talker too, but I do it tastefully, you know? Fucking hell, I just discovered my cat pissed on my bed. The Lord likes to test, you know? He likes to test me in weird ways. Having strange people talk about me or my cat pissing on my bed. Oh, well. Well, well, well. I have to go return to being a parent, so if you guys updated, fuck me. Of course, I love you guys. Okay, bye. <laughs> If I can't have you, no one can. Ready me for dinner in New York City. I'm here with Jesse as his plus one for his gym shark event that he's doing for the next few days. So if you're coming to live New York City, make sure you say hi. We got here last night kind of late and then we didn't go to bed until I want to say like close to midnight and then we had to get up early today and today was kind of like a busy long day, at least for Jesse it was. And then I'm kind of like running behind him as like the mean girl's mom with the camera filming everything. So we're definitely very tired right now, but we just have a dinner tonight to go to. We're gonna go to a concert, Jesse's favorite artist, but it is like an hour away and I just simply don't think we would be able to hang tonight. I could go to bed right now and not wake up until like 10 a.m. tomorrow. But I will say that I'm very excited to go to this dinner because I looked up the restaurant and everything looks amazing. I cannot wait to go and eat some good food and then come back and have a Good night, sleep. Last night we drove in to drop Kennedy off and came straight to our hotel, so it worked really well because Kennedy was able to stay with us up until when we were coming here, obviously, to New York. Jesse says I need sugar because my brain feels like it's quite literally not working. I'm so tired that I'm like, I'm not used to having this much activity in my daily life. So, lighting here is so good. Your brain is that, like, tired, you need to have some sugar. And I don't mean sugar, I mean sugar. September is literally the perfect time to visit New York City because the weather is so good. Like, I feel like we got so lucky coming here this weekend. It is, like, 60s in the morning, and then it warms up to, like, 80, and then cools back down again. It's so dress cute. I brought two dresses, luckily, because we weren't planning on going out to this dinner. Thankfully, I still brought nice clothes just in case. This is essentially like a brand deal trip for Jesse. When we got here, his bed was decked out with all these cute little things that Gymshark gave him, and one of them was his very own Octobuddy. If you don't know what an Octobuddy is, I've had one for so long now, but they're basically like little tentacles that stick on the back of your phone so that you can stick it to like a window, which is how I film things like Get Ready With Me videos. Currently, you guys are stuck to this massive window in our hotel room while I look out to the city. What are you laughing at? Nothing, it's just funny. This all stuck to the wall right now. See? Tentacles, suction cups. You're gonna cut this. <laughs> Started using retinol again, which I haven't used in a very long time. So my skin is kind of like starting to go through that phase where it flakes off. My least favorite thing about retinol and why I stopped using it was because I would be peeling all the time and it's very annoying when you go to put makeup on and then you're peeling and then your makeup starts separating and it looks terrible but it's a necessary thing to go through. I haven't worn fake tan in so long but I decided to do it for this trip because I remember I went to an Alani trip last year. It was for the Olympia and I didn't put on a fake tan given it was in the winter. I looked so so incredibly pale i looked like a ghost in any photo i took and then i ended up letting someone at the event spray tan me and that was an even worse idea because they only did like the parts of me that were showing my clothes on i wasn't wearing clothes i actually looked insane and i had to like go home and get a proper spray tan to kind of like blend everything together so i did not make that mistake this time and i decided to put on fake tan i just used like the coco neve one I'm so glad that I did because I feel like it makes me feel 10 times more confident even though I did have like the tiniest bit of a tan just from it being like summertime. This skin by Kim highlighter and it looks stunning but so far I kind of don't really, kind of don't really love it. Like I feel like it doesn't really come off much of anything even when I brush like super hard on it. Let's see. Did that do anything? I literally can't see. Barely. Kind of like a chunkier highlighter, I feel like. Okay, that did work a little bit better than it did this morning. It's definitely not like the best one I've ever used. I'm just obsessed over this product. Now I'm back into loving it again. I need to get a new one. As you can see, the label's like completely worn off and it's just not as clear as it is when you first buy it, if you know what I mean. Like it gets cloudy from your makeup getting in it, but it's the got to be gel. And this stuff will literally glue your eyebrows down. 
to your face. They'll never move. I love the Rare Beauty one too. Some brown YSL mascara. This one is the Lash Clash. It's my favorite literally ever. I'm doing some of this Too Faced lip liner. And some of this Road Blush as like a little lip tint on the center of my lips. Some brown lip oil. And last but not least, some Freck because I feel like adding freckles always makes my makeup look 10 times better last but not least some setting spray my little hairs are sticking up like crazy but here is the final look we are off to dinner love you guys so much bye i'm in the background you're right there say bye bye hey guys get ready with me so i'm feeling a little bit better today luckily um i've literally i've just got a cough but like I'm feeling better with him. Dulcie's here to say hi. Hi, guys. <laughs> right, so now I'm gonna use my toner. Me and Dulcie are gonna go on a little walk, guys. We're being productive. Like I said, it might hurt me to say I wanna start going on walks again, so you know that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, I'm gonna use this serum now. Oh my gosh, also got also. Also, guys, I got this new skincare headband um from Sheen. It's actually so cute. Okay, I'm gonna use my Tatcha moisturizer. Right, I've just rubbed my moisturiser in and um, brushed my brows up with a spoolie. Now I'm curling my lashes. They've honestly gotten so long from my lash serum. But I'm going to put a bit more of it on now. Because I didn't last night, but yeah. Okay, I'm now ready. I'm going to spray some Sol de Janeiro 62. Okay, bye guys. Hey guys, get ready with me for the day. So I'm just going in with my NARS foundation. I bought this yesterday. So I haven't really tried it yet or tested it. So yeah. It squirts out so quick though and it's actually so annoying. I just spilt it down me and I'm so annoyed on my green joggers as well. So I'm gonna try and get it off. Yes. Right guys, I'm not a lie it is, but I'm trying out this concealer because just why not? I'm putting it on my spots as well. we'll see if it'll cover them. Right, I'm doing this. Please ignore the state of me, guys. Right guys, I've done some highlighter in that. I'm gonna do my lips now and then my eyes and I'll be back. Yeah. Right, I'm basically ready now. Wait, so yeah. Really Bye guys.